Great moments in shoe history. Jan Ertz Matzeliger was an inventor best known for patenting the shoe lasting machine, which made footwear more affordable for the general public. Born by a Dutch engineer and Surinamese woman in Paramaribo on September 15, 1852, Matzeliger showed a mechanical aptitude at a young age. He first began working in machine shops, supervised by his father at the age of 10, but by 19, he had left to see the world as a sailor on an East Indian merchant ship. Two years later, Matt Seliger settled in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, taking a position working with machinery. As a dark-skinned man, his professional options were limited and he struggled to make a living. Still, he was good with his hands and mechanically inclined, so he was able to get small jobs. In 1877, Matt Seliger decided to move from Philadelphia to Lynn, Massachusetts. After considerable time, he was able to begin working as a show apprentice in a shoe factory operating on a McKay Soul sewing machine. Watching hand lasters all day, Matt Seliger began understanding how they were able to join the upper parts of a shoe to the sole. Soon, Matt Seliger began putting together a working model of his invention. As he upgraded the device, offers of money came in, but he held out until he reached a deal with two investors while retaining a third interest for himself. With the new funding, Jan finished his second and third models of the machine and applied for a patent for the device. Sadly, Matzeliger was afflicted with tuberculosis and died on August 24, 1889, at the age of 37. As a result of his work, shoe manufacturing capabilities increased, as did efficiency. This allowed for lower prices for consumers and more jobs for workers. Matzeliger left behind a legacy of tackling what was thought to be an impossible task, making 700 pairs of shoes each day as compared to 50 per day with the hand laster. In recognition of his accomplishment, the United States government issued a Black Heritage postage stamp in Matt Seliger's honor on September 15, 1991. For more great moments in shoe history, visit Meslin Chicago at meslinchicago.com and don't forget to visit us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+.